Hey everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Aiden Chronicles Rising. This is, I think, episode 15 or so. We are in New Nevea. Um, I actually had, uh, I did not save after the last session, so we actually had to redo some stuff. Um, so actually, let's go do that before I forget yet again. Otis Botus, close your eyes. You're, you're being weird. I don't think y'all can see it from this angle, but like he's got this eye open but he's asleep so it's like he's got the membrane over <laughs> and it looks real creepy you look real creepy bodies bodies you look real creepy it's like i don't care papa i sleep okay we have a couple of things to do uh i believe in the Quarry next. Hey, how's it going, my okay? The pit pits. Oh no, I woke him up. Oh, that poor boy. That poor boy. How are you doing today? Uh, yeah, I think we're heading to the quarry. We're gonna get a large gold nugget and a legendary salmon. Let's head to the plaza real quick just to make sure. Yeah, I'm off today. I had some ear pain this morning, so I decided to uh, take off and just chill and recover. So um, I have been behind on doing Aiden Chronicles stuff, so I figured I'd get some early Aiden Chronicles in before Lunar tonight. We're going to do the quarry. And I think we are just doing a full clear. Fingers crossed, anyways. What the? He's sleeping. No. You talking about me? I'm just playing game. Because I just started streaming, so I just playing a game. Because I didn't want to be at work. <laughs> don't complain to him. He don't control me. Uh, he, uh, he says Papa has been doing his job by petting me today. I pet him like so much today. Me petting him doesn't make him softer. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's not a thing. <laughs> uh, uh, I've been got. Yeah. Had some ear pain this morning, so I was like, uh, hard pass. Uh, do you want me to go and board? I believe I used to, but I don't know that it ever really mattered. But if you want me to, I'll, I will. Ooh, that back step was pretty cool. I do appreciate the amount of mobility in this game. Honestly. Oop. I was hoping I could attack through that, but that is not the case. Alright. There's not really a great way to access both of these locations, so I think we'll go down and then when we get to the crossroads, we'll go up and just do the upper section. I say that, but like, it might be just as easy to go across the top and then come back and go across the bottom. I don't have to do all of this stuff. In fact, I don't know that it's 
super beneficial for me to do all of it. But it seems fun. Oh, you know what we should do? We should put um, we should put a fire rune on Isha because we haven't seen her fire stuff. just so it, like CJ's mobility just makes her so much more fun to play around with generally. that's cool I enjoyed that Good. Know the gold ore is pricey. Okay, cool. Yeah, this is the way down. If this is the way down, though, what was the other spot? Down here. Oh, they were both the way down. Oops. Nice. Okay. So, with that in mind, we're now going to head back. other direction.
Mm, I can't decide if either of those is actually faster. Woo! Like I could drop there, but I could not. email and nothing urgent Nice. Triple nice. A lot of rare stuff. Which is awesome. I think there's anything out here. No. Back the way we came. Oh, I just now noticed that you can tell what the characters are assigned with based off of the color of the arrow next to their name. So, for example, CJ Garu uh, both have ice right now. Aisha has fire. So if we change, for example, over to an Earth 2, it's going to be nice. That's cool. Just now noticed that. Mama getting a cupcake? Yeah. Cool. First spot now. got to settle down. Okay, we've already been into the quarry that way, so now we just keep heading eastward. Was that it? That was the big the big converge ambush from all sides scenario? Sad.
Fancy salt and sacrifice. Yeah? Wait, do I have salt and sacrifice in the title? I do not. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Did I fuck up there? Oh. Not sure I would consider this fancier than salt and sacrifice. <gasps> oh. We can actually break through here now. Oh shit. This is this is going to be new space. Elementum Mastery. So we just got an achievement for Elementum Mastery and all it is is basically breaking a Elementum pier, uh, um, pillar of every single type. We hadn't broken a fire one yet, so that was our first one. Am I on vacation this week? No, I just took off today. I had some pain in my ear this morning, so I was just like, fuck it. Hard pass. Oh, shit. Say it so negatively. What? Yeah. Slacker. Uh, I like to think that it's using my PTO responsibly and knowing when I should be out of place and shouldn't be out of place. Earth Rune 3. Holy shit. Okay, that's nice. Okie dokie. We hadn't broken that either. Nice. Fisher's earring. Okay, so that's better fishing. Some silver ore. I'm glad we came in here. The quarry on foot. What? Fast travel. We just found... Is this a fishing spot? I bet this is a fishing spot. Yep, it's a fishing spot. And this is where we needed to be to catch the salmon, anyways. Uh, shit. Ooh. A legendary salmon has been caught. Wait, what else can we catch here? Just fish. Just fish. We're going to go ahead and complete the run. Get us to To fight a golem! Giant stone. Um, and I think this goes directly into the quarry, right? Into the rune bars. So we might as well just s pop off to the next part of the rune bars and then. Head on back. Dishwasher 
Uh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. You're good. Even if it is, I'm the one streaming at odd hours of the day, so it's my own fault. Okay, we got a couple of nice things. The monster fossils, for example, and the ancient scrap, I think, are all going to sell for really, really well. So that's good. Choice meat. Exquisite meat. Holy shit. Okay, we've got two quests completed. Uh, one in town outskirts and one on 2nd Street. So to the town outskirts we go. I think I've got a real big one here. Well, that's, um, well, is that panic I hear in your voice? Did I win? Did I? Did I? Of course you didn't win. It's a good first effort, so you can have a stamp. Mm-hmm, bullshit. Don't worry, I wasn't serious about making you give up your precious title. Like I would anyway. All right, old man. All right, old man. Stamp received, hell yeah. Um, okay, we want to go to Second Street now. Turn in, what were we doing? I, I don't even remember who, which quest we were to, or which person. Ah, new, mm, Catry, right. The legendary salmon. So we're gonna get a improved fishing pole, I hope. Uh, is this the legendary salmon you were talking about? You caught it? Got lucky, cause I put it back. Whatever you say, lady, stamp, please. And nice. No, we still can't improve our fishing rod. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, that was uh, for nothing, I suppose. Uh, time to go to the borrows. Hmm. Moment. as I had that up my bad. Okay, uh, we are going back. 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 Uh, we want to check each of the equipment of uh, the equipment shops. Because we do we can afford equipment upgrades. We've just been missing some items, so now that we're doing kind of like an around the world um, scenario, we want to make sure we get everyone back up to snuff. Where are you supposed to sit? Oh, are they all sitting in your spots? Buggy. What? Oh no. Five hit combos. On Isha? That means she gets five magic balls? Interesting. Charged magic attacks. Oh, we do get upgrades. <laughs> Press and hold the attack button to charge a devastating magic attack. Runes of different elements will produce different attacks. Okay, gotcha. Got a kiss, though. Got a kiss, and he didn't get one. Okay, lightning magic vestige. All right, we want to head now to the Great Forest Min here, I believe. We're gonna, oh, sorry, not the Great Forest. We want to go to the farm side Min here. He says, get out of my spot, mama. I don't want up there. I just want you out of it. That's that's his basic gist. Okay, we're going to do a full run of the Rune Barrows and Snow Peak. This is going to take a bit. Um, let me check. Is effective against ice and water. Effective against fire. I actually want a 
I should get uh, upgrades to all my rooms. Honestly. Okay, this takes us into Snow Peak. And actually, we just... Back to Earth. Because apparently Earth is good against ice in this... That's cool. That's really cool, actually. Trap is set. Completed that side quest. Cool. Continuing on. All right, we can go down. Yeah, we're gonna do a full clear. There's a lot. We need a lot of materials. We're gonna make sure we get as much as we can. That's a really cool spell.
All right, we had no reason to come over there, but I'm glad we double checked. Nivius crystal? Hmm. Yeti whiskers, lapis lazuli. Every time I see lapis lazuli, I just want to play uh, Valkyrie profile. Because of the freaking one quest. Polywhirl? Aw, shit. I needed to be here, apparently. Whoops. Good to know. She kind of slaps with upgraded spells. Or Yeti Whiskers. Very nice. How are we doing on resource bag? 73 out of 200. We've got plenty of space. We will be a just fine. Do want to swap back to fire? And let's save because it's been a while. Been a while. What's up, Otis Botus? You having problems? Is are you okay, sir? Oh, I do wanna I wanna try out um Hey, how's it going, Jay? How you be done? How you be done? There's the fire. I wanna try out her um fire spell. 
Cool. It's been dark and rainy, so pretty great. That's pretty neat. I like that. Ancient crystal. That sounds useful. How much do I think uh, I have left of rising? I think I could probably beat it in like two hours if I was just running main storyline. But probably, I don't know, six hours maybe? Um, it's also dependent on whether or not I'm, I'm farming. Because right now, like, I'm farming. I'm not doing... This is not progressing any side quests. This is just satisfying my own itch. Right? Um, I could just be focusing in on side quests and only doing those. Uh, but instead, I'm uh, running around. I say that and apparently I ran into a side quest. But I could have gotten here way easier. So. Um, so probably I think I have uh, about six hours or so. But my hope is I'm actually getting pretty close to being done with gear. Like um, CJ, for example, I have I, I've maxed out her weapon. Um, I have the Dragon Destroyer max plus 20. Um, it's five starred. It's done. Um, the I have uh, Isha up to she just needs the final components for hers. So I'm getting close to being completed on a lot of stuff people's like final things and i'm hoping once that happens that i'll be less compelled to farm things and i'll be more compelled to just be like get get what i need and go basically so oh shit i actually made that nice I don't think we'll beat it in today's session, though. I, I can definitely say that. Streamlabs that I kind of want to press. What is this? Chat highlight setting. Crisis score is initially reviewing very well, which is nice to hear. That's awesome. Honestly. Like, very heartening to hear that something's actually reviewing well rather than a garbage. Uh, 
main story progression is Snow Peak, so we're gonna go ahead into the Rune Barrows further. It shouldn't be that way, but a Doom, yeah. I agree. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, I think it's perfectly, I, maybe not perfectly fine, but I, I think it's understandable for some games are gonna have bad reviews because some games are gonna be meh games, right? <laughs> or some games are not gonna be games that are are a thing that people like, um, and that should be okay. Kind of, to a point, right? But uh, that's not really what you and I are talking about. What you and I are talking about is it shouldn't be normal for us to be concerned about whether or not a game actually fucking plays, for example, or actually has full content or what have you. Most, Yeah, most of the time the games aren't bad, necessarily. They just aren't finished or they're buggy as fuck or, or a, a lot of things. I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, yes, absolutely. Um, what I was going to say I don't know about was that um, there have been games in recent history that have been um, kind of, I think, shitty from a design standpoint. Or maybe not from a design standpoint, but from an execution standpoint. So there have been games here recently that I've been like, oh, this game is a trash game even without it being, um, you know, all over the place bug-wise. So, for example... Um, I say trash game. It's not really like um, what was that one game, the shooty game that you and Mitch and I all played together? That just just was horrible, honestly. Like the story was just so. I mean, it, the gameplay wasn't horrible. The gameplay was all right, but like it wasn't. It still wasn't great. Hey, we have fully discovered the rune barrows. Not aliens. I thought a aliens was fine. It was just short, right? Like that. The aliens fire team. We had a lot of fun with aliens fire team. It was just really short. Like there wasn't a lot of content to it. No, the uh, the the weird. We went to the planet, but other people got there first, and it. The wind on the planet gave us superpowers. Outsiders, there you go. Be like, that's a game, for example, that I don't think that game was bad because it had, like, um, you know, it was unfinished or whatever. Although I think there were portions about it that, that could have been more polished. I think it was just bad because it was crappily designed. Because someone doesn't know, understand how to write a freaking story. Or, e e like, you can have bad stories and you can have good gameplay. And it can still be a game to enjoy. But that was one of those games where it was like... It just didn't... It, it made playing the game just abhorrent. Okay, we have... Gone through all the stuff. Now we need to head back the way we came... And go through the snow peak. The snow peak. Oh, that. Oh, these signposts don't tell us where the min here's are. That's fine. We can still go to. Um, not Yeti's Crossing, we're going to the Crest, right? Good spot as any as I suppose. Yep. Yeah, okay, correct. Alright, um, I think that's actually a pretty good place for us to go ahead and end this video. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around, we're going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. Boy this, boy this. And we will see you next time for more Aiden Chronicles Rising. Bye bye everybody. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.